Welcome to ZMP Podcast, the very first ever episode of ZMP Podcast. I'm your host and founder of Zombie Media Publishing, Thomas Markham. Before we dive into today's topics, let me give you a brief overview of what we are trying to achieve and what we're going to be doing with the podcast. Of course, the podcast will feature the latest news, releases, and information about current clients and uh, new signings who sign with Zombie Media Publishing. It will also feature from time to time interviews with directors, cast members, uh, authors, uh, and people like that. And we also want to give updates on entertainment, news, uh, not necessarily related to zombie media publishing, but just news that in general uh, that affects the industry. Well, with that said, uh, this this is our first show, which is taking place on the last day of 2020. And this is kind of a re- recap show of 2020 uh, with some extra information. 2020 has been very difficult in many ways for a lot of people. COVID-19 has uh, really wrecked havoc havoc on the entertainment industry, on individuals. There's been numerous loss of life. Uh, my wife and I, we are actual COVID survivors. We had COVID back in October. It wasn't very severe for us. My wife did lose her, her sense of smell, but it eventually came back. I lost my sense of taste and had more like a chest code type thing. But it, my wife did suffer headaches even after she was better from COVID, but we did you know, survive it and it wasn't terrible. We didn't have to go to the hospital or to stay in the hospital or anything like that. Many people were not that fortunate. They, I got friends now who are in the hospital fighting for their life. Uh, it's just COVID really interrupted our way of life, <clears throat> excuse me, here in, <clears throat> in the entertainment field and in the world in general. Uh, the way things are, the way COVID happened, it changed how we watch our movies. It changed how we move around. Uh, we couldn't go to the theater anymore. Um, and, and just like my area, we actually, we live in a small rural type area, but we lost both of our AMC theaters in our two nearest towns. We don't have a theater now that's close. If we want to go to a theater to watch a film, it's over an hour's drive away. Uh, so, you know, there have there have been financial and repercussions because of COVID. We've had, in this area alone, I know, and we're, like I say, we're a small rural type area. We've had over 20 or roughly around 20 businesses go out of business. And most likely, none of those businesses will return anytime soon. But what I want to do today is read and talk about some of the celebrities that we lost during 2020. Some of them were COVID-related, some were not the newest casualty was don wells most of you know her as murray ann from the gilligan's island show tv show and she just died very recently i think uh yesterday on wednesday morning i was fortunate enough to get to interact with Don several times through Facebook. She was active. She was active on Facebook and she was very uh, open and she was very interactive with her fan base. And a lot of times celebrities don't do that. 
and so when you got one that does it's it's a, a pleasant surprise it's you know it's, it's well really welcomed i'd watched a film that don was in uh, called winter hawk and it was directed by charles b pierce who is famous for the legend of boggy creek is probably one of his most famous films and uh, i think he also did uh talent dreaded sundown but anyways i'd watched winter hawk and don wells actually starred in this film and she also did some narration for the film and she did an excellent job and the movie is actually pretty good uh it was it was kind of when uh the native american people has had been introduced to uh a plague i don't remember what which plague it was and it was killing people and they were trying to trade some of the furs and stuff to medicine to help their people and somewhere along the way uh don wells's character gets kidnapped by the native americans if i remember correctly it's been a little while since i watched it anyways i'd watched that film and enjoyed it and I thought, well, since I'm interact interacting on her Facebook page, I'll send her a message and tell her, you know, that, that she did a good job on that and I enjoyed the film. And so I did, and we interacted back and forth through Facebook chat. And uh, that was, a, you know, pleasant surprise for me, and I enjoyed it because I've grown up watching Gilligan's Island. And there was always the question of Gilligan uh, uh, about Gilligan's Island whether you would marry Ann or Ginger both of the women are phenomenal but going on the based on the characters that they played I always told them uh, I would you know Ginger for one night Murray Ann for a lifetime and that was always my answer but it's very sad to see that she passed away but she was not the only person that we lost in 2020 I want to maybe tell you a few more right now. We also lost Alex Trebek. Most of you people know him. He was uh, the host of Jeopardy for many, many years and done a phenomenal job. And he even worked all the way up to almost, you know, just to, to passed away. Uh, was a good fella. Uh, we also lost Conchita Farrell. Uh, most of you probably know her from Two and a Half Men. She she plays the housekeeper on there and always had a, a little quirky uh, comment or something with Charlie Sheen's character. We also lost Sean Connery. And I know he's played in numerous things. He's a wonderful actor. Uh, James Bond, of course, is probably what he's most noted for, which was, uh, I never was a big James Bond fan but Sean Connery did an excellent job in that and the numerous other films he's been in. And musical-wise, we lost uh, Little Richard. I, I remember when I, was a, when I was just a young, I guess, teenager, I played basketball for school, and I would listen to Little Richard songs on the way to the games to get myself kind of hyped up to play the game, which was kind of kind of a fun thing we also lost Jerry Stiller this year Ben Stiller's father uh, played on the King of Queens and was phenomenal on that it was a funny guy there's lots of stories out there about him how that after why he was on the set after the they threw filming for the day he would always stay late and talk to people and, and uh, fans and things like that he would spend a lot of time with them so and I found him I found him very funny myself. We also lost Kurt Douglas, uh, another wonderful actor, played in a lot of a lot of good movies. Uh, this he was just an icon for many people. We lost the fantastic skills of Eddie Van Halen this year. Uh, we lost Fred Willard. Most of you guys uh, probably know Fred Willard played in a lot of a lot of comedy films and TV shows. And was just a uh, a funny guy. 
and there's several others that we lost that uh, that will you know that's going to be missed uh, back to Don Wells just for a second Don Wells cause of death was listed as COVID-19 and I was reading on her Facebook page where her agent had posted and unbeknownst to most people <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> excuse me and unbeknownst to me Don Wells suffered from a lot of medical issues and once you contacted COVID-19 it just made all these things worse and my understanding that's kind of what you know brought the end for but these great stars will be missed these great singers and guitar players and songwriters they will be missed uh, but at least we do have their work that we can carry on and enjoy the things that they did and that they created you know years ago well that said I want to talk a little bit now about our company in general of course 2020 is an up and down year for us as far as the restrictions with COVID, uh, not being able to go to events, and just the limitations on, you know, like going to theaters and things like that. But with that said, our company did did well this year. We actually grew quite a bit. We was able to sign several new talents, uh, new directors and films. We have uh, deals in. Uh, uh, Philippines and we have deals in Indonesia and we are some of that stuff will not even come to market until sometime in 2021 some of it is already out there some of it is already out there but uh, overall we had a lot of growth this year we uh, we've got several we actually signed uh, two more uh, book authors there's two new titles coming out in 2021 which uh, I will talk more about them later as it gets a little closer to the release but both books should be phenomenal one of them I have read probably I don't know maybe half three quarters of the way and it's a very good story it's intriguing it's the type of story that would translate well to a movie so that's some things to look forward to in 2021 and I'm very thankful that 2020 was a year even though it was very difficult for a lot of us a lot of companies and and a lot of individuals that overall our company grew and did well what we're going to do with this podcast we're going to we're going to try to grow it and grow our YouTube presence. Once we get our YouTube presence up to where we can monetize our our channel, there's a lot more that we can do as far as offering uh, films and things like that. That way we can pay our, our clients uh, a royalty based on watches. But we can't hardly do that yet because this channel, like I say, is new. And YouTube has a standard you have to meet as far as the number of subscribers and the number of watch hours before you can actually monetize. So if you are not a subscriber to our channel, I really wish that you would consider subscribing to our channel and help us grow it. Uh, we're just getting started with the channel and there's going to be a whole lot of more content coming. There's just there's just so much work that we have to do. I do a lot of work myself as far as uh, getting films ready for distribution, uh, but getting books ready for distribution, uh, even artwork. We we do have several people on our staff that help with artwork, uh, narrations, and writing and stuff like that. A lot of times, though, I, a lot of that work just falls on me as an individual to do, and I don't mind doing it. I enjoy it. Uh, I'm a hands-on kind of guy. Uh, I like to have uh, some amount of control over what we put out, how it's represented in the field. 
and uh, we have films playing in over 70 different countries and that list is growing in this past year we also we recently started this youtube channel but we also started uh, our own streaming service uh, called black star tv which is a which is doing fairly well it's a little more expensive than than what we anticipated due to you got to have so much amount of space to hold these great films and uh, and and then the marketing aspect of it so we're, we're still doing that that's not something that's not going away anytime very soon we're still growing that and uh, the service continues to be received very well we're, we've got you know quite a few subscribers and uh, people seem to like what content we have on there we do have a whole lot of content waiting in the wings that we plan on uh, putting up very soon uh, just like I say, 2020, why, even though it was very difficult at times, overall, I would say 2020 was a success for our company. Uh, our hearts go out to anyone who has lost family members or lost their business, their livelihood during 2020. And we do understand the difficulties. I know several people have affect, been affected pers you know, on a real personal level. Uh, I've, I've done interviews with with people and talked to celebrities and that who 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 actually own businesses themselves, even though they may be a celebrity and they was very popular on a TV show or or uh, in a movie. Uh, oftentimes, if they wasn't a major star in that that show, they have to do something else to make a living and. I've talked to a few people who 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 have their own have a business, a business that relies on customers coming in and uh, setting down or, or or you know frequenting frequenting the store often, and with lockdowns and you uh, you're not allowed to have dining customers and things like that, it has made it very difficult for them. Uh, so we do understand the plight of that some people are faced with. 2020 but 2020 is fixing to be in our rear view rear view mirror and 2021 will be another opportunity for us to continue to grow to continue to be a better company be better people individually and just make 2021 a better year than 2020 was so I'm not for sure exactly how many of these podcasts I will be doing on a you know regular basis. I will, when time permits, I will do some of them. I want to thank all of our people who have supported us in our various things that we do, whether it be books, films, music, uh, marketing. We do a lot of marketing with our films when somebody signs with us. If they have a, uh, a film that is very... Um, we think can you know benefit from say t-shirt sales or something like that we always try to do that uh so we appreciate everybody who supports us and all that kind of stuff and anybody anyone out there who has written a book who has a uh a film that they're struggling with what to do with it or a book that they're struggling what to do with it or they've written an awesome song and and they have been able to play it and sing it and they don't know really what to do with it or how to reach a, a bigger market feel free to contact us most of the time when we sign someone there's no upfront cost we do a lot of the work and a lot of the cost to get it ready for dis distribution there's a lot of work that goes into it as, as, let's say for a film there's a lot of uh, streaming most streaming services require that you have captions for the film this is an expense uh, to, the, to the filmmaker, of course, but sometimes we run into cases where the filmmaker already has them, which is good. If they don't, a lot of times we just go ahead and, and eat that cost, if, especially if it's, we think it's going to be a good film and uh, reach a good market. We'll go ahead and do that. So most of the time, if you sign with us, you don't 
you don't get any uh there's no upfront cost to you we take a percentage of sales and with various ways that we can pay we like to pay by paypal because it's just because it's faster than writing a paper check or sending a money order or something like that that could be possibly lost in the mail but i'm not for sure how often i'll do these podcasts the time you know i'm stay pretty busy most of the time so i'm going to go ahead and close out this very first episode i thank you guys for listening uh, i thank you guys for the support for in during 2020 during a rough time and i want to wish you guys a very happy new year and i want everyone to work together stay safe and let's make 2021 a great year and i'll see you next episode